Hello, it's Joe from IC3D People, and today we're going to take a look at an updated version of the day night cycle video that I uh, released uh, a few months ago. I'm getting a lot of questions around can you make the, the day longer, uh, can you make it darker, um, and, and various things. So I went to have a look into it and see how more customizable we can make it. But as I look deeper into it, um, it's one of those things where you find out that something that you're trying to do is already done and done much better. So this is a asset from the marketplace called the Good Sky. And this Good Sky is completely free. So you can download it now, add it to any project, and it will give you a very good sky box. The only downside to it is you can attach a directional light to it, but then you can't get the moon. So if you want a moon, and that was one of the top questions in in the comments is like can I get a moon yes you can um, this does come with a moon but obviously you need to um, not use a directional light however I've set up a skylight with it using a simple blueprint and we can set that up what we've got here without further ado let's get started into uh, a new level and I'll show you how I set this up really quick okay so we're gonna go to file new level and we're just gonna choose an empty level here okay so we've got an empty level here once you've imported the asset, uh, you have a in your in your content directory you'll have a good sky folder. Jump into that, and you'll have a blueprint. Drop that in, and then uh, you just want to change position from uh, whatever it is to zero zero zero. Um, so it's centered, and then once you've done that, um, you you can set up your level however you want it. I'm just going to add in a basic landscape just to to show it off here. By the way, this is a third person project template, so um, you can follow along. So to do that, you can go to modes, uh, landscape, and in landscape, uh, you can choose your settings here. Uh, I'm not gonna use this material. I'm just gonna use something else. Um, and then once you have selected your material and you can um, set up the size and press create. Okay, so while that loads, I'm just going to then go to modes and go back to select mode. Cool. So, um, and that's basically it. That's all you really need to do to, to, to get it going. Um, this will be static at the moment. So you'll need to change a couple of settings if you want it to have the day night cycle, which is really easy. So all you need to do is go to BP underscore good sky, uh, enable time of day, make sure that's ticked and then uh, custom mode yes and then all you need to go do is go down to sky beta and check enable auto day night cycle in game and that will basically keep it going by default it won't have the moon so to do that you need to scroll back up here and where it says uh, sky effect um, all you need to do is change that from sun stars to sun stars plus moon and there's some other ones there if you want to have a look at those and that will give you the moon in there now um, Obviously, there's not going to be much light in here. So if you press, and I'm just going to drag in a player start there, and I'm just going to press play. So right now, there's no light um, because we don't have any lights in the scene. And then we can see our daylight coming up very slowly. So as you can see, there's no lights in the scene. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a directional light to show you how it works with the directional light. Um, but to do that, and just to make it a bit quicker, I'm just going to change the time of day. Let's click on BP's Good Sky uh, under Beta. Uh, what do we want to do is say how long. So that's one minute per, for the day length. Uh, let's change it to something like 0.3 so it moves a bit quicker. What we can do is go to lights and add a directional light. Now it's important when you do add a directional light that you need to click it to movable. Otherwise it won't be able to move it and it will give you an error. So click it to movable, come down to, uh, click. so click back on BP Blue Good Sky and then uh, scroll down until you find this section here, which is directional light actor and you can attach it to that. Now this will be dynamic and when you press play, you'll see it go, where's this sun? It's around here somewhere. There it is. So then it's going up and over. 
can. But in that version, you won't have a moon. So we do want to have a moon. So let's uh, clear that out. You know, delete this directional light, yes. Um, and go back to good sky. And then what I'm going to do instead is add a skylight. And in that skylight, I'm going to make the intensity uh, 0.6 just to start with and that's it back in the good sky I'm gonna go down to the moon uh, just to move it a bit so if you press this uh, move moon I'm gonna put it at about 0.3 because I'll at zero it's right above you so it's really hard to see um, so I'll put it at 0.3 we should take it down so and just to test that out you can scroll back up move the time of day around until you get it to be night and you can see the moon nowhere because we had it in the directional light it forces the sky effect back to uh, this just sun star so we have to change this back so there it is now so now we have the moon um, and we can um, press play just to see what that looks like very nice So now what we want to do is uh, we want to basically tell the skylight to go brighter and dimmer depending on the time of day. So all we're going to do for that is jump into our uh, level blueprint. So go to blueprints, open level blueprint, and you don't have to use a level blueprint. You can use just a, an actor class, but um, this is just a bit more convenient at the moment. Um, so let's go and start this off. So the first thing you want to do is uh, add some references here that we're going to need. So uh, I'm just going to minimize this to show you. So if you have the BP Good Sky selected, you can right click and create a reference to it. And if you do the same thing with the skylight, you can right click and create a reference to it. Now you have some references uh, so we can get some of that information that we need. Let's maximize this. So what we want to do is on event tick, we want to call a branch. And what we want to do is basically check to see um, if, if it's above 19, because that's basically when it becomes dark and the moon gets shown. And that's when we want to um, dim the uh, skylight. So to do that, we can then uh, check the Check the um, time of day by going, uh, get, getting this BP sky, going get time of day. Here it is. Let's move this over a bit. And what we want to do now is clamp this. So the time of day is a, a number between zero and 24, but the way it works is it actually um, integrate, uh, iterates up, so it'll go to 36. So you'll never get a true representation. It'll go, 30, it'll go 24, 25, 26, up until whatever. So what we need to do is clamp it to 24 and make a percentage. So to do that, we go, uh, we go, percentage and choose float and what this is going to do is give us percentage and clamp it so this bottom number we want to put to 24 oops and we want to then put out a condition to say if it is greater so greater than so if it's greater than 19 Okay, and put that into the branch. And then from the branch, we want to say, let's set the intensity. So now we need to get the skylight reference and we need to grab the set intensity light component. Okay, uh, so once we have that, we can then say, go true, come to here. And we're gonna set this intensity to 0.1. One and depending on how you want, how dark you want it, how light you want it, you can you can play around with that number. And then if it's false, um, because we also have to remember that 
uh, even if it's greater than zero, it can still be dark. So about uh, the way it works on the good, the good sky blueprint is it's below five is when the uh, moon or when it's above five, that's when the moon will disappear. So, so let's uh, go, so let's go branch. Okay. And what we want to do then is take this number out again and say less than. And we want to just push that up to here and we want to make this number five. Okay. So once we've done that, we can say, okay, if it is less than five and that is true, it is still nighttime and we can set the intensity up here again. And if it's false, that means it is daytime. And that means we can then set the intensity. So let's just copy this and go down to here. here and set this to something like 0.6 um, and this and that's it so that's that's your blueprint and that's all you need to do um, and so you can just save that save that uh, and close it there so what that's going to do is just change this skylight from dark to light depending whether it's day or night now before you uh, press play there is uh, a couple things you need to check and um, if you find that your scene is not lighting up um, like this because the skylight doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. Um, just go back to the BP uh, Good Sky and make sure your time of day is something around 10 or something in the day. It just seems to be a bit of a bug with the two acting together and go back to skylight and change it to movable and then you can put it back to static if you want, but keep it on movable and that'll give you dynamic lighting. Um, and now when you press play, um, which should give you the result you're after, I'm going to quickly change this landscape material because it is ugly. Much better. Now there's there's lots of settings and um, configurations you can do here. Take a look around. It's pretty good. Um, again, check it out. Um, and if you're finding it's not dark enough, simply just go back into the level blueprint probably make some variables for these but you can just make these a bit smaller something like 0 0.01 and make this something like 0 0.4 compile it and you should get something a bit darker there you go like always guys like subscribe and I'll see you guys later